Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! This is Jeopardy! Introducing today's contestant. Uh, Player one. Uh, <laughs> Player two. <laughs> Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Hey, Johnny. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go into the Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. It's all good. Math. Star Trek jargon, South Korea, yo, Jimmy, and literature. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. Also known as a cathode, it's the car battery terminal with a plus sign. Player one, use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus con- yeah. That's correct. Player one, back to you. It can mean far better than average or not yet settled like an unpaid debt. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> oh, good. Select again. The bird Ardia Herodias isn't just any blue heron. It's this blue heron. Yes, player one. Right. Choose again, player one. As an adjective, it means very impressive. As a noun, it's a lavish production. Okay, player one. That is correct. <laughs> player one, back to you. Marvin Hagler was Marvelous Marvin. Tom Seaver was nicknamed Tom This. Yes, player one. You are correct. Player one, pick again. Sixty-six plus thirty-two. Okay, player two. Hey, you're right. You get to pick again. 73 minus 14. Player one? Yes. Please pick again. It's the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Give us a wager, player one. Okay, here is the clue. 148 divided by 4. You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player 1. 17 times 6. It's player 2. <laughs> That's right. Way to go. You again, player 2. 23 plus 8 minus 16. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. Select again. The Type 2 of this weapon had a max power setting of 16 and could be set to heat, disrupt, or stun. Yes, player three. Correct. Player three. This device briefly converts a person to energy, beams the energy, then reassembles the person. It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. Please pick again, player one. When Spock checks chronometric data, 
He's looking at measurements of the space this continuum. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> player one, back to you. Created by Starfleet, it prohibits interference with other civilizations. Player three. Ah. Yes. <laughs> We return to you. This crystal regulates matter-antimatter reactions that provide energy for travel faster than light. Okay, player two. Good for you. Choose again, player two. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. Yes, player one. You got it. You get to pick again, player the one. The 12th century book, Samguk Sagi, recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. It's player two. <laughs> Good. You again, player two. At the two. 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> player two. This medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Okay, player one. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> Player one, MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Player three. Correct. Select again. In the comics, Jimmy Olsen was this hero's cub reporter pal. It's player two. Good. Choose again, player A book two. by former President Jimmy Carter compared Israel's treatment of Palestinians to this policy of white South Africa. Player three. Right. <laughs> you get to pick again, player From three. 1957 to 1971, Jimmy Hoffa was the president of this labor union. Okay, player three. <laughs> That's it. You again, player three. The Jimmy was a popular SUV from this American automaker. Let's hear it, player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two. Pick a He's Jerry Lee Lewis's famous evangelist cousin. Yes, player one. Right. Player one, back to you for our next selection. His ship was wrecked off an island near South America. He remained alone on the island for 28 years. Okay, player two. That is correct. <laughs> Player two, back to you. The Lilliputians called this Jonathan Swift character Quinbus Flestrin, which means Great Man Mountain. Let's hear it, Player three. That's correct. <laughs> Please pick again. In a Nathaniel Hawthorne tale, Thomas Maul built a house in Salem with seven of these. Yes, player three. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player three. You Tom Sawyer told this girl, I don't care for anybody but you, then gave her a brass knob from an andiron. 
It's player two. Yeah! Good. <laughs> hey. And the last clue for $1,000. The Ministry of Truth is Oceania's propaganda department in this Orwell classic. Player two. Right you are. Player three will select first in double jeopardy right after this. Player three, you're in last place. What'll it be? Clues are worth four hundred to two thousand dollars in these categories. Elvis lyrics, classic novel spoilers, South American countries, scary words, I beg your pardon, and biology. Player three gets to make the first selection once again. This time we're moving into the double jeopardy round. Never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. We return to you. The warden said, hey, buddy, don't you be no square. If you can't find a partner, use a wooden chair. Okay, player two. Good. You get to pick again. If you can't come around, at least please telephone. It's player two. <laughs> yep. Player two, pick again. Ooh, 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 I feel my temperature rising. Help me, I'm flaming. I must be a hundred and nine. Yes, player one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again. No such number, no such zone. Player one. That's right. Way to go. You again, player one. Swiss scientist creates monster that craves bride. Scientist makes and destroys bride. Scientist dies. Monster mourns. It's player three. <laughs> right. <laughs> player three. Raskolnikov murders an old woman. Raskolnikov confesses and is sentenced to eight years in Siberia. Yes, player two. Yeah. You got it. Choose again. Player Constance two. marries paralyzed Sir Clifford, has an affair with the gamekeeper, gets pregnant, awaits divorce and new life. Okay, player two. Good for you. Select again. Heathcliff is raised in the Earnshaw home. Falls for Kathy. Love thwarted. Both die. Player three. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Player three. Back. Itinerant workers George and Lenny dream of owning a ranch. Lenny accidentally kills a girl. George kills Lenny. Let's hear it, player one. That's it. We return to you, player one. This South American country was named for a man born in 1451 in Genoa. Okay, player two. That is correct. <laughs> Player two. Montevideo is its largest city. Player one. Yeah! Right. Please pick again. This country's almost 4,000 mile coastline is the longest of any in South America on the Pacific Ocean. 
Yes, player one. Yes. Choose again, player one. It's the South American country whose capital city lies the closest to zero degrees latitude. It's player two. That's correct. Player two, you pick again, and I'll hand it off to Kelly. This country's Bahia Mangrove ecoregion extends from Reconcavo to Todos Os Santos Bay. Let's hear it, player three. Good. You get to pick again, player three. Bibliophobia, a fear of these, might hurt you if you want to continue your studies. Player one? Yes. Select again. If you suffer from heliophobia, a fear of this, you might be a vampire. Okay, player three. Right you are. Player three. If you have pluviophobia, the fear of this weather condition, we probably won't find you singing in it. Yes, player three. Good for you. <laughs> player three. Pick again. If you've got dendrophobia, a fear of these, we suggest not climbing any. It's player one. Ah. Yes. <laughs> player one, back to you. <laughs> Answer. The first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. How much? Answer. If you have stygiophobia derived from the river Styx, you have a fear of this. So act right. That puts you even further ahead. We return to you, player one. Gerald Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. Let's hear it, player two. Yeah, yeah good. You again, player two. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela. By 1999, he was the president. It's player three. Yes. Yeah! Select again. Answer. The second daily double, player three. You're in last place, but here's an opportunity to catch up. What are you going to wager? Answer this. In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Worked out for you. You're now in second. Player three, pick again. The Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. Let's hear it, player two. That's correct. We return to you, player two. This Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran-Contra. Yes, player two. That is correct. Player two, back to you. In humans, this sex chromosome is present only in males. Okay, player three. Good. You get to pick again, player three. Gustatory receptors are special cells that give you your sense of this. 
Player 2. Right. You again, player two. In plants, they're reproductive structures. In humans, light-sensitive structures along with the rods. Let's hear it, player two. Woo. Yep. Player two, you pick a... The hypothalamus at the base of the brain controls the release of hormones by this master gland. Player three? That's ah, correct. Ah. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? One of the subdivisions of biology is this science dealing with the naming and classification of organisms. Okay, player two. That's it. Good game. All of you will continue on to play Final Jeopardy when we return. Final Jeopardy still to come, and here's the category. Italian inventors. What are you going to wait for? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Our final Jeopardy clue today is... In 1910, his new invention helped Scotland Yard catch a murderer escaping to North America across the Atlantic. Your response? And Ooh. that correct <laughs> response will add... Let's see your response. How much Woo! do you add to your total with that correct response? <laughs> what did you say? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Congratulations, Ooh. player one. You're the winner. Thanks for playing, everybody. See you next time.